Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to do a recipe. So my beef bone stock is something that I try and incorporate every couple of weeks. And regardless of your dieting style, to get these nutrient dense foods in can only be beneficial. If there was some shortcomings as far as vitamins and nutrients go, then a beef bone stock is a great option. So firstly, we need to go to the shops and find some products. The products I'm targeting are beef bones, bacon bones for flavor, and chicken frames for just another variation. So what I've found in Australia is the IGAs can be great places to find these products. Also, if you have a local butcher, it's great to catch up with them and see if you can't source those products there. So let's go to the shops and see what we can find. So as you can see, I'm back home, and at this point, I just stack the slow cooker with as many beef bones and as many bacon bones as I can. Then I chop up the chicken frame, and I put that in there as well. From there, I add the water, and usually I just fill that water to the top of the bones. Then I'll add a little bit of salt for flavoring, and this is where you could add some, maybe some onion or some garlic just anything that you like to flavor the bone broth with. And then I'll add a little bit of apple cider vinegar or any type of vinegar. And basically what that will do is draw extra minerals and nutrients out of the bones. And you'll see that as this progresses. So this is about 12 hours in. As you can see, the meat's starting to fall off the bone quite a fair bit. So it's a good chance just to give it a really good stir and then uh, continue the cooking process. As you can see here, these meaty beef bones are starting to be very bare. So it's basically 18 hours later. And as you can see, this bone stock has broken down a lot of these bones quite well. So it's now time to pull out as many bones as I can. And as you can see, the bones are very clean. And as you can see, I fished out quite a lot of bones from this one. So then anywhere from 24 to 36 hours, I think is about as good as it's gonna get. So it's been about 26 hours now that this one's been cooking. And then I basically just divide that up into portion sizes, which can be whatever size you like. And as you can see, it's a very meaty broth. So there is quite a lot of protein. There's quite a lot of collagen. There's quite a lot of gelatin. And if you put these in the fridge, and let them cool down they will actually set like jelly now the key to get that consistency right is generally it all depends on how much water you put in your bone broth as you make it so what i usually do is i just put enough water to cover the bones and i find that generally sets me for a very gelatinous final product and as you can see there's still quite a few bones in this so as i eat it you just be careful because like i said some of the bones you will be able to eat but some of the bones you won't be able to eat so you just need to be careful So as these containers start to cool, you'll see that there's a lot of fat on top and that will actually solidify if you put it in the fridge and then it's optional. After that, you can either just reheat and eat like a soup or you can actually eat it like a brawn. 
and in the gelatinous form. And just to illustrate again how much these bones break down, I've actually got the chicken wishbone here and I'm pretty sure that I'll just be able to eat that. And yeah, it's a little bit chewy, but it basically disintegrated in my mouth. So there you have it, the beef bone stock, which I like to incorporate to my nutrient dense keto carnivore diet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.